I would like to see if Sonnet 4 can directly replicate a website just by adding the screenshot of the website as your inspiration. Let's say, for example, this one right here. And in this example, I wanted to have a directory website. So suppose I'm going to use this custom prompt that we have to create instant directory. And for the data, we're going to scrape the data using GFA scraper. So let me just do a quick scrape. So let's say I'm just going to go ahead and scrape some business listings related to law firm. And let's do that for United States. And let's just have 100 search results. And let's just get the business data. All right, so once it's done, just download this. So this is the data that we have all about law firm. And I'm just going to say this as XLSX. So here we're going to choose this file format. And here we're going to say law firm and click on save. All right, now that we have the file, I'm just going to prompt this. I'll get a copy of this and paste this to a blank notepad. And uh, let's just configure quickly this variables right here. Folder name will be so law firm team sonnet 4. So this is a folder name, so don't add spaces. So site title, we'll just have Ophirm in USA, custom post type. We have the law firm. So this is the post key. So there shouldn't be a space. And the space, if you want to separate the word, should be hyphen. And custom taxonomy, this is like a category. So we will categorize it by state. So I'm just going to have state. Team name, we can just have the same as the folder name. So the directory Google Cat, you can just have law firm and country. We'll have United States. And the color palette, we will not use this because we will grab the screenshot of the website, which is right here. And in line uh, 31 right here, we're going to remove this. And at the very last part, we will mention, so I'm just going to say replicate the color and the layout of the attached screenshot for the entire directory template. So let's see if this will easily follow the instruction. So we're going to copy this and we have a test web WordPress website. I am using the local WP to run a WordPress website in your local computer. So let's open the VS code so we can vibe code the custom prompt that we have. And as you can see, we have an existing theme right here. So we're going to create a new one. So let's head to client right here. And we're going to prompt this prompt right here. So let's paste this. So here, make sure you're using God Sonnet 4. And let's don't forget to add the screenshot. So maybe we'll add just two screenshots. Or maybe this one first. I'll just take a copy. So this one right here, I'm just going to copy this. Paste that in client. And then do another one, maybe right here. You can take a screenshot of this one and then copy this image, paste that again right here, including the prompt. And now let's run this. So let's just wait for a few minutes. So it looks like Klein and Sonnet 4 completed our request. Let's just quickly check the files. So we have the new team right here, which is the low firm. Now let's go ahead and go to the dashboard. So you can directly click this WP admin and you should install this ACF plugin and also I have this custom plugin which is Excel SX importer which is available in the link below this is easily import the Excel SS file that we gathered from GFA scraper I'm gonna show you quickly so first let's go to appearance and then themes so you will see here we've got the law firm memes on it so we activate this now uh, that we have this law firm custom post type so now it's empty we go to acf and then take this field groups since we have the previous king that has the plans custom fields so we're going to trust this for now and let's delete that we should have the new dcf field all right we're going to refresh this it's not appearing let me just go to teams again and activate a different theme and again activate this law firm and go to acf again field groups let me just quickly check the files Oh, that's why this should be inside the ACF folder. Uh, as you can see here, ACF JSON that should be inside the directory. That's why it's not being detected. So let me just create a new folder, ACF JSON, and I'm just going to drag this inside. All right. Now go back here and refresh this. There you go. The sync available is there and law firm fields. Now let's import this. All right. Now that you have imported, you should have now the XLSX importer. So just install this plugin right here. It's a custom plugin that I vibe code to easily upload listings that we gathered uh, from GFA scraper. So let me just do that. So here, as you can see, we selected the law firm that Excel has X and upload and parse. And here we're going to select the law firm as the post type load fields. There you go. You don't have to map this F fields manually. As you can see, they all map pretty well. And what we have to do here is the taxonomy because we are categorizing this by state. So we add a taxonomy and here the state is this address info region and select this taxonomy states. And we have a child 
taxonomy, which is the city. So within each state, we have multiple cities. So that's how we're going to hierarchy our categories or taxonomy. Now going up here in a featured image, just map the main image right here. So we will have the featured image now will get automatically inside the media and the content. I usually get the attributes because we are just, we are basing our data from this prompt. So this prompt, this custom prompt, it is using attributes as the content. So think, uh, we're good to go. Click on start import. So you can see the progress right here. Once we have few listings uploaded, we're going to check if this will at least replicate the appearance of this inspiration website that we have. So now 25 out of 100, it's 50 out of 100. So I think we can now open this in a new tab. Do not close this. All right. Looks pretty good. It followed the color theme right here. Look at the color. Oh, looks nice. Look at this browse law firm by state. Oh, this is pretty good. And this is how it's look. So let's see each listing. This is how the listing look like. I'll look at the color team right here and how clean it added. So there's just few gaps issue, which can be easily fixed. So let's go to the date level listing. So this is how it displayed the state. Look at the buttons. They look clean and pretty good. And footer right here, it looks nice. So there's just few modifications that we need to do, but look at how it is state. It followed the format of the inspiration website that we took. All right. And this is the saddle view, which is pretty nice. Okay. We will add our logo right here and of course our hero image and let me check if this is gonna work go to california select a city from california so look at this it's working go to bell gardens so there's no law firm added but we go to panning maybe it's still uploading but that's fine yeah overall it looks great yeah los angeles off firms so at the moment it's there's still so there may be some few errors but how it appeared it looking great so let's check again this law offices of jennifer grant wow it looks great to look at the business hours how it showed and the nearby law firm yep so i think um you get some insight out of this video and just a reminder guys before uploading this you need to fix the aiming of the state right here because some of them are shortened and that's the reason why it's creating a separate taxonomy so they shouldn't be shortened so you have to manually check that i have the full instruction in the description below along with this prompt right here and that's it guys so hopefully you get something from this video and just to see how much we spend so overall this template is Ben 0.98. Uh, see you on the next one and leave a comment. Let me know what you think.